I started the Scottish Independence podcast about three years ago. It was before the referendum. And the basic idea was that what we saw in the media always, if you're a supporter of independence, was that there was one independent supporter. And then every time they were on television, there were three or four unionists there to shout them down. And no one ever got the chance to explain their point, to explain their reasons for supporting independence. And the idea behind the show was just to basically give people the opportunity to come on and say their piece. There was always um, an element of good bloggers and stuff, but I thought it was important to have an audio element. You know, everyone now with their smartphones, everyone's got an MP3 player in their pocket, and this is the way it's going. And I think it's very important to get people into that medium as well. Thankfully now a couple of others have started up, so it's not just me, but um, yeah, it's good to see that there's a, a variety of podcasts now as well. I'm going to show you, from start to finish, how to record, edit and share your own podcast. And you don't need to buy specialist gear. You can use what you've got, so there's no excuse. My name's Elaine. You might know me slightly better as Sparkle Monkey. And today, I'm going to do a podcast, which is really exciting and slightly terrifying, because I've never done one before. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with regard to podcasting. So I've come here to speak to Ian Bartholomew from A Political Podcast and see if he can give me any ideas. So Ian, can you tell me a bit more about A Political Podcast and what its aims are? It was kind of a post-referendum project. It was designed to let people hear arguments other than their own because we kind of felt that people were getting stuck in bubbles and hearing their, their own opinions repeated back to them and we thought it might be interesting for our people of all political persuasions to kind of get a bit of the, the other side of the conversation to speak to people from all parties and all persuasions in the same way to get the same type of interview so we could fairly compare and contrast how people thought and how people presented their ideas. Welcome to Apolitical. I'm Ian Bartholomew, and today I'm joined by James Cook, until recently Scotland correspondent and now Los Angeles correspondent for BBC News. Good evening, James. Thanks for coming in to speak with us before you jet off to California. Uh, Good evening. It's very nice of you to have me. Thanks very much. I think in terms of the the podcast format, it's something that's compatible with different lifestyles as well, because not everybody has time to read a paper or wants to sit on the internet for hours at a time where they can be out exercising or walking their dog or going to work or sitting on a bus and they can hear a podcast more easily than maybe other news formats. Ian, I'm thinking about starting my own podcast. Can you give me some tips? The first thing would be to listen to a lot of podcasts and find out what you like and understand what you want to do because if you're going in there not sure how you're going to do it, it'll be difficult. If you've got a clear idea of what you're going to have at the end in terms of structure, think about what type of interview you want to do. Is it a conversation? Is it a question and answer? Is it going to be one where the host is an important part of the podcast or is it going to be one like apolitical where it's really about what the guest has to say and the host is just kind of guiding them? So I think knowing what you want to do is the best tip that I can give. Well, I've spoken to Ian. I've got a bit of a better idea of what I'm doing. But if I want to do a podcast, I'm going to need a victim. I mean, I'm going to need a guest. I haven't got one at the moment. I've got an idea. Hello, Sonny. Are you lost? Uh, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. Thanks. Come with me. Uh, well. So once you've got your interviewee in place, it's time to start asking questions. So the main thing is to choose a nice quiet room. Make sure there are no interruptions, so put mobile phones on silent. Make sure there's no music playing. 
and switch off any extraneous noise. Is re another referendum independence off the agenda? First up is my Android phone, which I'm going to use and see what the sound quality is like. So, the best way to record audio on the Android phone, on the Samsung or <laughs> Android phone, is to go into apps and then go into voice recorder. And it's very simple. If you're going to use it in interview mode, you click the little arrow, put it in interview mode, and as the screen tells you, it will record from both ends of the phone. Okay, so I'm holding the device pretty much equidistant between myself and the interviewee. So it's time to ask my first question. So, um, Greg, uh, for anybody who doesn't know you, would you like to tell me how you got started? Oh, wait a minute. Greg, yeah, um, this might help. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> um, how did I get started? I can't remember. It, it's, it's so long ago. I've been doing cartoons since before time began. Uh, you know, but around about the time of the invention of fire, I think was uh, yeah. the, my first cartoon. So but you are quite old. So. Uh, yeah, you know, but there you go. I'm I'm, I'm like a fine wine. I, I I'm just gonna get you know better as I uh, as I get older. Just as with the Android phone, you can use the iPhone. It has its own recorder, but what we're going to use here is a dedicated app especially for podcasts that's free and it's called Opinion. Once you've downloaded, simply open it up and on the interface there's a record, a sound file and an upload. To get started, you simply press record. So depending on which model of iPhone you have, um, the microphone is at the bottom on this model, so you might have to use the phone directionally in order to record audio. So if I'm going to speak, I point the phone at me, and if Greg's going to speak, I point the phone at him. Right, Greg, so who's your favourite character to portray? Well, I've got new characters. See, after that last general election, everybody said, how are you ever going to survive now that you've lost all of those marvellous 40 Labour MPs? I, I'm particularly liking George Galloway. He's a, he's a bit of a laugh. And do you prefer doing the cartoon for the national or is your real passion Moody Vision? Uh, I'd say my real passion was probably just drinking and, you know, having fun. At, but I think, uh, um, you know, the strip versus the, the, the animation, they're, they're both my children. And you don't love one of your children more than the other? No, absolutely not. How could anybody? How could any mother, you know? So one of the unique features of this app is that you can actually edit on the phone. You don't have to link the phone up to a computer or anything to do the editing. Um, and that means that you can take out any dead air, any ums, as, errs, any mistakes. And it's quite useful because it means I can delete most of the waffle that Greg has said. And another feature is that you can also directly upload to SoundCloud or any other website that you want to use to host your podcast. There's a wide range of variety of different programs that you can use to make your podcast sound way more professional than it probably is. There is some really good free software out there, very easily downloadable, um, such as Audacity or WavePad. So, I hope you enjoyed my instructional video. Uh, the best thing you can just do now is go out and make your own podcast, so good luck and enjoy!